Welcome back. We're now taking a look at today's beauty shot of Point State Park. Let us know where you like to go to take pictures. Head to our Chalk Pittsburgh Facebook page and let us know. We'll get out there. People of the world, it is time to spice up your life with a new pizza sh from a shop in Lower Burl. We are joined once again by our friend Patrick Elston of Gus Franco's Pizza. So good to have you back after your big competition. Oh, it's great to be here, Heather. Thanks again for having me. It's uh, uh, something I always look forward to, and it's great to get the word out about what we're up to in our little shop. Yeah, there. so what are you making today? So today we're, we're, we're doing a pizza maker special called the Hot Rod. It's named after my dad. Me and my dad always had a thing about hot sausage. So one of my better memories of him was uh, doing hot sausage. So when I came up with this pizza, uh, I just had to name it after the old man. So. Aww. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a red sauce pizza, and I got some caramelized onions that I just put on there. I'm going to put some of our mozzarella blend as well. And up next, I'm going to be using uh, some local guys started a, a beautiful little uh, sausage company here in Pittsburgh called Frankie's Sausage. They're out of Sharpsburg, PA. Okay, wait, hold on. Yeah. As you're putting on the sliced sausage, I have to, my husband's Frank. Frankie, as I call it. Right. And will you show? Will you show the back of your shirt? Oh, absolutely. I'd be happy to. Honey, look at this. Look at this shirt. I don't know if he's watching. He's not. He doesn't watch me. Oh, he's absolutely watching. He has to be. He's, no, he says. You know what you do for a living? You talk. That's what he says. <laughs> Like it's it's that easy. Um, so, okay, so we have some. So of we got some Frankie's hot sausage. They have all kind of different sausages. It's, it's delicious, wonderful stuff. You can find those guys in Sharpsburg, but they're also in all the community markets and all the. They're everywhere. So those guys are taking off. And then we got some uh, some hot cherry peppers. I'm putting on there as Ooh. well. Going to put a little bit of Parmesan on the pizza. So what are we talking? Like how hot is this pizza? Uh, so so the, the the onions are sweetened up when we caramelize them. There, it's not. It, don't be scared. You, you don't need to be scared. Listen, I, I had a snake today. <laughs> you hear? Yeah. There's nothing that can scare I mean, me now. Yeah, if anything's going to scare you, it should have been that snake that you were rocking with. I had to with. interview a celebrity, like no one Yeah, you, uh, like, man. Just, I know. And here I am with my little pizza, right? I'm going to sneak around you, Heather. I'm just eating and drinking from this hour on. Like, it's fine. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so that's going in. We're going to cook it in about two minutes or so. I know this thing yeah. is super fast. About two minutes in the oven. We're cooking it around 800 degrees in this little oven here from Uni. And uh, yeah, it's it's going to take care of business and get her done. We'll be eating soon. Okay, so let's talk about the pizza competition. So this was in Atlantic City, right? Right. So how did it go? What was it like competing? It was awesome. It was actually my second time competing in one of these. The last one was in Las Vegas back in March, and uh, and it's it's really a great experience. It is. It's fun to, to go on the road and, and do something, and I made a pizza that I would have been super proud of to serve in my own shop, yeah. and, and that's all I could ask for. I pulled it out of the oven and just wanted people to take my picture. I was really happy with it. So, so. tell me about the pizza that you made. Are you allowed to share any secrets with so us? So yeah, it was our, it, it's a, it was the, the best cheese slice in America competition, and so it was our cheese pizza that we make all the time at the shop. It's the red sauce we use a mozzarella blend with some fresh mozzarella and whole milk mozzarella we put some good parmesan on there a little olive oil salt some sicilian oregano and bam that's it that's what we serve every day and i wanted to compete with the pizza that i make for the people that buy it that's so, awesome yeah it sounds delicious so you yeah. ended up top 30. we yeah we came in top 30 which was uh, really super proud of you can't uh can't yeah it, I mean, it was a wonderful country, experience right? so yeah the guy a guy from texas won i think somebody from north carolina maybe came in second so there was people from all over the world, actually. I think there was uh, other countries represented and whatnot. So, so top yeah. 30 ain't bad. Top I 30 say, ain't bad. Listen, we could have came in last, and I was super happy with the pizza that I made. And that, yeah, it was a great experience. I so. have to think, too, that you get to try a lot of pizza. So you do, yeah, especially which at these so things, crazy. which is really cool. That's the biggest perk of it, because every time somebody makes a pizza, they turn in three slices, and then the rest of the pizza gets divvied up, and, like, there's a bunch of people kind of waiting around. And you get in there, and you fight for a, a slice or two and you get to try some of the best pizza in the world all in one spot in a couple days in That's Atlantic amazing. City or Vegas yeah all right so I, I saw your post you guys are doing something special for Halloween tomorrow uh, yeah so well what we're doing for Halloween I mean Halloween's the biggest pizza night in America I yeah. mean overall it's it's the big night but yeah my wife and I actually well we dressed up last week and you know this past weekend is uh, but we love Halloween. Look my at you my guys. wife, yeah, she does the the coolest stuff, and she hand makes all these costumes that you're seeing that we're wearing. My kids, uh, you know, it's it's an amazing uh, good time. We have a lot of fun. Well, so you guys are going to be closing early tomorrow, though. Actually, no, we close. Oh, so yeah, so trick or treat in my neighborhood is on Saturday 
Friday before oh, Halloween. Okay. So we're going to be open all day tomorrow. Perfect. We're going to be rocking and rolling. Uh, we do some Detroit style pizzas on Tuesdays, so it's always a busy, crazy night. So with so Halloween, get minutes. your trick or treat pizzas, get in there and get them early. We're going to be ready to do it. Okay, good. I think we have just enough time to get a slice and yes. burn the roof of my mouth. Well, listen, I, 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 I thought this through, Heather, and I just made a pizza about 15 minutes before Boom. you came in here. So I said, if she survives the snake, I don't want to hurt her with a hot pizza. All right. So there it is. That is the hot rod featuring Frankie's sausage from Pittsburgh. Mm. Napkin for you. Oh, <laughs> hot, delicious. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and here's the information about Gus. You can check it out yourself. Leechburg Road in Lower Borough. We'll be right back with more.